I'm the head of the experiment station here at Erie, and this afternoon we'll be uh, cooking congee. Now congee is a very popular recipe through much of South, South, Southeast Asia and East Asia. Um, it's a nourishing and savoury start to your day. Some would say it's something like Asian comfort food, Asian chicken soup. It's, um, the recipe we'll be, we'll be preparing today was shared with us from one of our good friends in Laos. Uh, Deng, who's um, the owner of Kung's Cafe Lao in, in the capital city of Lao, Vientiane. Uh, there's three components to congee. The first is the stock. Now we've pre-prepared pre some stock. As you can see, now the components of the stock are a whole chicken, a whole onion, coriander and ginger and this has been simmering for 30 or 40 minutes now so it's almost ready to be used. The raw ingredients we used again just a whole chicken, ginger, whole onion and coriander or some would call it cilantro. For those that haven't got so much time you can cheat and get powdered, uh, powdered chicken stock or chicken cubes or you can choose a a pork stock, or a fish stock, or a vegetable stock, um, choose the, the stock of your choosing. So I must admit on most occasions we cook, uh, we cook um, congee, we usually use the cheats way. The second component is the rice. So this, um, according to the recipe of, our, our, of Deng, um, the owner of the cafe, she likes to use 20% glutinous rice which gives it a, a more creamy texture. So we've got roughly 20% glutinous rice and 80% non-glutinous rice. I have seen recipes where they've used 100% glutinous rice. So I think the ratio of rice is somewhat to your choosing. And finally, um, congee is, is simply rice soup. It's got the, got the texture of soup. So once you've, once you've combined your stock and cooked your rice in uh, in the stock, it's then uh, awaiting the condiments of your choice. So we've got some basic condiments with us here. We've got uh, more coriander, more, more uh, cilantro, we've got spring onion, we've got fried garlic, you could add some fish, shorts, fish sauce to your taste, or just some classic uh, seasoning sauce. And likewise, you could choose some cracked pepper. And finally, particularly if, you, if you're a vegetarian, you might choose to um, top it off with one or two boiled eggs. So there's your, your basic congee recipe. Um, the choice of condiments is limitless. There are, there are many, many other choices. Um, it's really only by your imagination. So we've, we've prepared our stock already. So now we will move to combine the stock with the rice and then it will have to cook for 30 or 40 minutes until, until it's ready to serve. Water is roughly 6 to 1, which is a lot. Sorry, the ratio of rice to stock is roughly 6 to 1. So you've got to put in quite a lot of stock. Much more liquid than you would usually use when cooking standard, standard boiled rice. That's 4. Five, six. So we'll start with a ratio of six to one. I've changed my mind already. I think it probably needs eight of these to start with. And we'll see how that looks. So we'll switch, switch the stove top on. Tip in some of the non glutinous rice. I'll just keep a little left over. Not quite that much. And we'll tip in some of the glutinous rice. Ideally, it should have been pre washed, but we, we won't do that today. And now, we simply wait for that to come to the boil, particularly if I use the right uh, burner.
and that needs to simmer for at least half an hour. One last thing we need to do is give it a stir just to just to get the get the rice off the bottom of the pan. And get it all suspended in the stock. You can see already we probably need a bit more to get, get to our desired ratio. Don't be scared to put in a lot of stock. You would be amazed how much water rice absorbs. That looks like a bit of stuff. And now, we'll come back to it in about 30 minutes. Okay, so here we are about 40 minutes after we began the preparation and our congee is ready. It's got the right creamy soup-like consistency. So we'll now tip it out into a bowl. In the last 10 minutes or so, if you want, you can add some finely chopped vegetables like carrot or bok choy or cabbage or something like that into the mix if you wish a little bit more variety. You can even uh, crack an egg and stir an egg through the through the congee if you wish. We'll make one big bowl of congee today. Maybe we'll need many spoons. Okay, now we bring it over to our condiments. Now we might choose to put a bit of shredded chicken in. Make it up into reasonably fine pieces. Perhaps some boiled egg. Spring onion. The green always makes things look tastier. Some more coriander or cilantro. My personal favourite, some fried garlic. And have some sauce. some fish sauce as well. And finally, a little cracked pepper. And here, we have the finished product. Congee. In Lao they called it kalpia kao, which means, literally means wet rice. A perfect start to your day.